so hit me. So hit me. Hi guys, and welcome back to another Matt Leach Golf video. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through what clubs I use in my bag for the 2020 season. I get asked this quite a lot, what equipment I use on the back of YouTube videos, people ask me on social media, so I thought what better opportunity on a slightly cooler day here at St Ives than to go through my golf bag and tell you the clubs that I use. Now the first thing that you'll probably notice is that I am entirely Titleist based. I'm very fortunate, I mentioned in the video um, at St Ives on the front nine that I get supported by Titleist here at the golf club, so I'm very fortunate for that. So all Titleist clubs, first of all, Titleist bag, Titleist clothing, and we'll start with the driver. So the driver I am using is the Titleist TS3. Uh, tried out both of the heads that they had at the time, the TS3 and the TS2, they've got a couple of other ones now as well. The TS3 was the one that really suited me, and it's been a revelation, really. Uh, I'm set on a eight and a half degree head, but I'm on a D1 setting, which I believe is 0.75 degrees down from that. So we're looking at a 7.75 degree head. The reason for that is that I tend to launch the ball quite high. I also tend to spin it quite high. So to match that, I have got an Oban Kyoshi black shaft in here. 65 grams, extra stiff. Combination of that and the head for me just works absolutely fantastically. Uh, a Golf Pride grip on there, and my shaft is three quarters of an inch shorter than standard. Uh, the reason for that for me was that I didn't really need the extra distance that the longer shaft would give me, but the shorter shaft just gives me a little bit more control, hit the center of the face more often. So that means I'm going to hit a few more fairways and that's the number one priority. So that's my driver. I used to use the 917 beforehand and, uh, and that was a big, big upgrade for me. So I'm chuffed about that one in the bag. Next one down is the three wood, another TS, as you can see. Uh, the same model of head, the TS3. That's just the one that suited me the best when I went for my fitting. Uh, 15 degree head on this one and I'm set at A1, which is the standard setting. Yet again, I've got another low spin shaft in here, uh, a Rogue Max 75 gram, another X Flex. Uh, again, that for me is just to keep the spin uh, down, so that works really, really well for me. Tend to use it both off the fairway quite regularly and off a lot of tees, which when, uh, when this one can get me in trouble. So I really, really like that club as well. Again, I used to have the uh, 917 and actually had exactly the same shaft in the 917 and the performance of this uh, in comparison for me was just absolutely perfect. Next club down in the bag is the only one for me which will ever really interchange uh, and I interchange between a hybrid and a two iron. Most of the time though, because of the golf course that I play on uh, here at St Ives with it being that inland link style, I do stick to the two iron. Uh, so I'm on a U500 two iron I have got a Evenflow White Project X hybrid shaft in here. Uh, I actually made my own two iron previous to this one with the old model, the TMD, and um, I got on really well with it. I just cut down a hybrid and, uh, and put the shaft in that head and it was just perfect for me. So I requested that they do the same again if they could and they were kind enough to make the same thing for me. So hybrid shaft in there. Two iron, um, it's de-lofted by one degree as well, that just fit better in my bag. Another uh, Golf Pride Tour Velvet, standard length on there, and um, yeah, it's a great club for me, I use it off a lot of tees. Don't very often use it off the fairway because I struggle to get much elevation off it, but it's a great club for me off the tee, really gets me in play well. Then we move down to the irons. Uh, four to pitching wedge for me, I am using the T100, um, I used to use the AP2 iron previous, which is like the equivalent model to this. This is the new, uh, the new version of it. And this is a great iron for me. The profile of the ball flight was the thing that made me want to change from the AP2 to this one. Not a great deal of distance increase. It might have been a yard or two, 
but the flight profile I got with these really suited me. Um, I've got KBS Tor VX 120 gram shafts in there, uh, standard length, again I'm on the Tor Velvet grip and across all of the irons I am on a two degree flat lie angle, that's just what really suits me and, uh, and helps me to hit my ball as straight as possible. So yeah, four to pitching wedge. Pitching wedge is 46 degrees. And then we move into my wedges and I use Vokey wedges. I'm currently on the SM7 model. Now this is probably the only thing that might change in my bag over the course of the 2020 season. I might move into the new SM8s, but I just haven't had a chance to get fitted for them yet with the situation that we've been going through. So I'm still in the SM7s. I use a 50, 54 and 60 degree. So the 50 is eight degrees of bounce, F grind, same shaft in there as I have in the irons, just to make the, the, uh, the continuity of that set as good as possible. And the Golf Pride Tour Velvet Grip. And then the 54, again, same shaft. And I am on a 54 degree head m grind on this one with eight degrees of bounce this just allows me if i want to to just open up the face a little bit because it does have a fraction of heel relief in there um, if i ever want to hit any of the sort of finesse shots with that one tend to use it mainly for uh, either full swings or kind of half swings approach shots i don't use it all that often around the greens but when i want to i can open the face on that one a bit then we go down to the most used club, probably in the bottom end of my bag, my 60 degree wedge. It is again an M grind, eight degrees of bounce. I like that heel relief, as I say, so I can open the face up a little bit. Uh, and the reason I'm on eight degrees of bounce, again, is due to the kind of golf course that I play on. It's a linksy style, so we tend to get quite hard ground conditions. So if I was to have anything with much more bounce than that, I might start to see myself bouncing into the back of the golf ball. And obviously that's what I'm trying to avoid. So I've got the eight degrees of bounce across all of the wedges. For me, that just really suits. It also suits my technique, which is quite sweeping. I've got quite a, uh, a shallow angle of attack into the ball with my wedges. So that really suits me as well. I love that. I love that. So that's a really good one. Yeah. Finally, the money maker, as they call it, the Scotty Cameron putter. This is the Select Newport 2. Uh, it's a couple of years old now. It's the one that still has the insert in. I know that the new model doesn't have the insert anymore, so I might be looking at that one at some stage if I, uh, if I get lucky. I have got a 33 inch length of shaft and two 20 gram weights in the head, which I think is pretty standard for that shaft length. Mid-size Scotty Cameron grip, as you can see, it's nicely worn because my putter gets quite a lot of use. Uh, I practice with it a lot. One thing I would like to do with this at some stage is send it off to the Scotty Custom Lab. I'd love to get this all custom with some name and stuff on there. And uh, yeah, I think that'd be really cool. But um, I love the Scotty stuff anyway, because it's already got the red logos in there. So that, that really suits me. But yeah, love this putter. I'd be hard pressed to change it. It, uh, it works really well. I love the classic style of the putter. It looks like the, uh, those old answers of the, of the time. And yeah, it's a great club for me, love it. And I'd be hard pressed to change. So guys, that is what I carry in my bag. I also uh, use a Titleist Pro V1 golf ball, which I got fitted for as well. I tested between the Pro V1, the Pro V1 X and the AVX and the Pro V1 was the one that suited me the best. Uh, and on top of that, I use a FootJoy glove. So guys, that is what I carry in my golf bag, and that's what's gonna be in my bag for the 2020 season, what's left of it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment below to let me know what you think to my golf bag, what you think to my setup, and maybe what you carry in your bag as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time for another video.